welcome <laughs> to the Downtown Podcast. As you can see, we're in another venue change this week. Thank you to the generosity of Fremont East Studios for hosting us this week while the um, Las Vegas Film Festival actually takes over the Scullery Theatre where we normally film. This week, we have some really cool people for our community segment, the first of which is Sean Cunningham. Now, you're from a local Toastmasters meetup, the uh, YVP, right? VYP. VYP, Before. I'm sorry. Yeah. And um, there's a lot of Toastmaster meetups in Vegas in general, right? How many are there? Uh, it's almost 60. That's a lot. So what <laughs> made you pick this particular one, and uh, how is it different from the others? Well, you know, I, I work in Henderson, so it's about a 30 minute drive. Wow, uh, every, okay. to go that's there. dedication. Yeah, so uh, about 20, 20 uh, chapters closer to where I am. And the reason I come downtown is it's a, it's a younger uh, group. Uh, VYP is Vegas Young Professionals, which is through the Chamber okay. of Commerce. And um, the, it's, it's a cool group, it's, it's a looser group. A lot of young uh, entrepreneurs and small business owners. Um, we have people that uh, work downtown. Um, so that's the primary reason. That's really, really cool. So for those such as myself who have never been to a Toastmasters meetup, like what actually happens there? Because I'm, I'm really curious as to sort of what, what goes on. Yeah, it's a common question. People are kind of <laughs> nervous. Uh, it's a very welcoming group. It's a very okay. supportive group. Um, our meetings uh, usually will start with uh, uh, table topics, which is uh, uh, this week I ran that, where it's an impromptu speaking opportunity. Okay. Um, so this week I ran it. I went up to, uh, to uh, invite people, uh, members up to speak. And they had basically no time to prepare, so wow. uh, I gave them a question. They had to come up and, and give uh, and give an answer. Uh, but we keep it fun and kind of loose. Uh, and then we do prepared speeches, which is where you know usually for weeks ahead of time, a member will have a chance to kind of decide what they want to talk about. Um, and then we do evaluations, which are member mm -hmm. evaluations, so that people in our group will will um, kind of critique. Oh, that's really how nice. They, how, they, how they did. It's a very loving criti criti criticism. <laughs> it's, it's constructive. Suggestions. Yeah. We can't call it criticism. So <laughs> <laughs> suggestions. Uh, very cool. And uh, we use a sandwich method. We talk about, you, oh, did, yeah. you did this great, mm -hmm. work on this, and then you're, really, you're, really, you're still great. Um, and then we do, uh, we usually wrap up the meetings after that and give our guests a chance to speak as well. So uh, guests, guests are a big part of our meetings. Mm -hmm. um, we have a lot of guests now because we're kind of growing our, our right. chapter. Right. Uh, so if you, as a guest, you can come to any meeting for free as often as you want. To. So, so I, I think I get it now. It's like a, a place where people can come to learn how to become better public speakers and better communicators, right? Yes. Awesome. So, how long have you been going to the um, VYP? It's just my just a few months. It was mm -hmm. basically six months. Um, and I'm I'm not like nervous in front of talking uh, to people, but I need to get better at executing it and. Uh, that's why I went, and some people have a deathly fear of speaking, and so, mm -hmm. um, or so there are a lot of different reasons to do it. And we okay. have people who are really good speakers that come, but oh. they want to practice their material in front of a live audience. That's a great idea. So it's for a whole range of skills, not just beginners, but also people that are still trying to hone their craft. Yes, right? exactly. Okay, so you've done three speeches now. Right? Yeah, three speeches, and we have different roles. So mm -hmm. some weeks I'll speak, or in some weeks I'll be an evaluator, or I'll do table topics. Or we have awe counters where we track your awes and ums and likes wow. and so's, uh, which is really nerve wracking. Yeah, I was about to say, I would be freaking out. <laughs> yeah, so we have everybody, you have a role every meeting. Uh, you can change around your roles mm -hmm. if you want to. Okay, I'm totally sold on this. I think this is a great idea. And you said that somebody came in because they were doing a presentation at work, but they wanted to kind of run it by Toastmasters first, right? Yes, which yeah. is a, a really great thing if you're trying to uh, get your career to flourish, but you're not quite confident in certain areas. Yeah, right? exactly. Well, even if you're a confident speaker, you just want to practice it in front right, of a live right. audience. Maybe get some Q and A. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So I kind of want to come now, like knowing this. It's across the street, you come. <laughs> oh, that's right. nice and easy. So exactly. So where is it held? It's uh, it's at the Ogden uh, okay. right now, the second and fourth Monday every month, uh, and we're at six thirty p.m. in the evening. Oh, that's good. Plenty of time to get there after work. Yeah. And how can people kind of find out more information before attending? Uh, you can go to the Facebook page, which is uh, VYP Toastmasters. Facebook slash VYP Toastmasters. Mm -hmm. Uh, or just come to a meeting. I mean, just show up. Uh, guests are always welcome. You can come check it out. Check and out it's a couple free, of meetings. Right? Yeah. Well, the membership is not free, but you can check out. You can out. check it out if you want to start speaking, get evaluations, mm -hmm. and you have to be a member to do that. Okay. I think that's totally fair. Yeah. Awesome. Well, um, hopefully, I'll be able to make it down. I would like to see kind of how it works, and obviously, this is kind of public speaking, but I still have no idea what I'm doing. So oh, I huh. think it would really <laughs> benefit. No one I do. So you're good. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much for coming on the show to talk about this. My pleasure. I think it's awesome. So thank you. Thank you. Okay, 
so our second community member, um, the pleasure is all ours, is to have Andrew from Just College, right? Yeah, and thank before, you for having me. Yeah, absolutely. And before we go into exactly what Just College is, I'm going to get you to pick the downtown all podcast right. fortune of the week. This one here. Oh, nice and easy. There you go. Ellen, our fortune cookie handler. Yeah. Thank you very much. All right. Okay, so Just College. What exactly is it and what does it have to do with college? Yeah, so Just College makes it really easy for large groups to book trips and events. So um, we do everything from booking the hotel rooms to uh, all the transportation, so the flights, buses, um, all the background logistics that you know, most people don't see when, you know, when there's a, a group <laughs> organizer, right, um, right. you know, like putting together rooming lists, pick up bus time. So our back end uh, technology handles all of that for wow. the organizer. Um, they can easily manage the whole group, collect payments from all the members, which is probably the biggest pain in the butt. Um, no matter, <laughs> no matter whether you're in college or, uh, uh, or out of college, there's always the one deadbeat friend who you can't chase, you know, you can't chase down to collect money from. So we've all got that friend. Um, we make, we have, uh, we have really good uh, terms with all of our, um, with all, all of our vendors to mm -hmm. make sure that, you know, if your whole group can't pay, that you can cancel without getting a penalty or, oh, nice. or, or anything like that. So. Right. And you guys have these awesome relationships with these vendors too. So if people book through you, they're always getting like a really good price and deal, right? Yeah. So so we're, we're an aggregator. So for example, we can go to the LA market and we'll sit down with say 50 fraternities and sororities and find out that they might need 200 buses over the year and we'll go around to 10 different vendors and see who will offer them the best price. You know, make sure that uh, not only they're getting the best price, but they also have the right licensing and insurance. And we read through all the contracts on <laughs> behalf of the students. That's so awesome. we do all the all the back end stuff that, you know, while while students are in class, we're doing the heavy lifting for them. And that's such a great idea. And there's it's, it's bad enough if, sort of trying to organize an event that's in town, but a lot of the stuff you guys do is for people that are actually traveling, right? And so having to do the logistics of, okay, which hotel room do we stay in? And like, how are we meant to know who's who's not gonna take us for a ride with the, the money that we're paying and, and being able to get out of their contract too if they have to cancel is just like a wonderful, wonderful thing, right? Yeah, yeah, and uh, you know, we've, uh, when we started, we, we really just wanted to do a great service for students. We, we wanted to get out there and uh, started with just a few fraternity uh, groups. And, you know, now it's grown to uh, this year we'll do about 80,000 uh, college students. Um, and that is huge. roughly about 40 destinations. We work with about 114 universities now. Wow. So, um, and and the, the students really love it because... Uh, usually they're getting a better price. They, um, you know, they, all the, all the logistics are handled for mm -hmm, them and, mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's just, it's seamless. It's easy. So that's really, really nice. So I heard if they go on your website, you guys already have this kind of thing where you can pick packages and like, it's super convenient. Right? Yeah. So, so we have, um, you know, basically have two options for, um, for college students. They can, they can go directly to our site and they can pick a package for, EDC or spring break or Memorial Day weekend, they can just buy a package oh, for nice. for them and you know a few friends. Or if you have a really large group, you know, say you have 20 friends and you want to fly to Australia for, <laughs> for a week, okay. um, you can you you can put in a custom trip request and one of our account managers will reach out to you, find out the dates you're trying to go, what everybody's budget is, and we'll start calling airlines and hotels and and then once you pick a package that you really like, we'll load it into our site and basically does all the work for you from there. I'm absolutely loving this. So like if I ever want to kidnap my department at work and take them with me to a trip to Australia to show them how awesome it is there, you guys are definitely going to be the first people I call. Yeah, de definitely give, a, give us a call. I, we have, uh, we've really focused on, on collegiate up to this date, mm -hmm. but... We have uh, had a few uh, big companies reach out to us, and we've mm -hmm. planned corporate groups for mm -hmm. Facebook and Deloitte. And uh, it's That's really, fun. I mean, everybody has the same problem when they're traveling any 
large group. It's Absolutely. just really difficult. It's a complete yeah. nightmare. Well, that is awesome. And congratulations on being so successful at this. If people want to jump on your website or give you uh, give you guys kind of like a contact form or an email, what's the best way to do that? Yeah, so you can go on uh, justcollege.com. It's uh, juscollege.com. Um, you can also email us at contact at justcollege.com. Nice and easy. Um, right. Thank you so much for coming on the show. This is actually a really cool service, and I was always wondering exactly what you guys do. So thanks for coming right. and telling yeah, us. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Uh. <laughs>
I guess to make a long story short, she was very competitive. And if I was losing on the sidelines, you know, she would let him have it. She'd let him have it. Yeah. She'd let him know, hey, you're, you're cheating. Or, you know, she'd get into it with another parent and be like, your son's a cheater. And then they'd start getting into it. And then I'd be like, mom. Um, I think she called somebody a little shrimp one time. But. Oh, well. <laughs> um, so entrepreneurs need someone like that? Even if it's not a mom, you need someone to push you all times? Find a friend that... You know what? If you don't have any friends, push yourself. Okay. Um, but you know what? I, I got... I've, how would I say this? I pretty much took that passion from my mom of how competitive she was or how much she wanted me to excel. And I, I don't know, if you've played sports, you, you can relate to uh, uh, sideline parents or parents that are just so involved or want to see their kids do so well that they almost go above and beyond. Sometimes it's not the sanity. healthiest. Yeah. yeah, a little bit above sanity. I would say, yeah, a little unhealthy. But um, I don't know, not to throw Andre Agassi's name out there, but if you read But you did. OK. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Andre, if you're, you're watching, uh, I'm promoting your book. Uh, no, I mean, there's, there's stories of parents, you know, uh, uh, shooting a tennis ball at 90 miles an hour at a seven-year-old and crazy stuff like that. So, um, yeah, you have to be driven. Yeah. Whether it's mad or unhealthy, I think um, you have to just yeah. go out there and do it. Okay. So we'll try to keep it short. I know you're struggling a lot with, with that. I'm okay. Strategy. I actually feel better now. Okay. The lights are making the me feel better. The ebb and flow is we're in a good spot now. Yeah. Okay. Um, but talk to me about bringing tennis downtown because this is something that seemed really exciting when you started mentioning on the phone that you're going to be kind of spearheading something that everybody here can start getting involved in. Absolutely. Um, you know, there's so much culture downtown and there's this movement going on. So what better way to get the hipsters and the guys with the beards and the razor cuts, uh, playing tennis, then throw some wooden rackets out there, uh, get some slow play tennis balls, uh, get a DJ playing uh, Modest Mouse and um, <laughs> churches and whatever else you have. Um, no, I, I love that music. I'm totally kidding. They, they, they kind of told me, like, you have to try to be funny, even if you're not. Um, so Respect the trying. Yeah. Right? Thank you. I'm trying. Uh, so no, we're we're gonna uh, we're gonna reach out to the downtown community, and I mean this sincerely. We're reaching out to the downtown community during the Life Is Beautiful Festival. I think we're gonna shoot for October 24th, and we're either gonna do it um, right here near the Ogden, um, or we're we're shooting for Las Vegas High School because oh, those cool. are the nearest tennis courts. Yeah. So we're gonna have an event. Uh, it's free. Uh, we have a very well-known chef. I'm not gonna throw his name out there, but there's gonna be some great food. Uh, there's gonna be some great music. I want or we want uh, everybody to wear their headbands and their vintage uh, tennis gear and make it an event. But uh, we've partnered up with the uh, USTA, which is the United States Tennis Association and the Nevada Tennis Association, um, to pretty much promote the game of tennis. So uh, it'll be a lot of fun. I mean, I'm hoping that I get a bunch of people in bicycles rolling down there yeah, with their well. tennis rackets. And um, we, we're going to have uh, wooden tennis rackets. We're going to have music. We're going to have food. It's going to be a great event. So it should definitely promote the game, and uh, what better way to get out there besides bar hopping down here but get involved to uh, <laughs> play a little crawl. tennis. Yeah. OK, so where can people learn about this online? Where can people learn about you and your business? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, my website is HimmelHeberTennis.com. I have a really long last name. So if it's easier, just Google tennis lessons on Google, and you'll probably see my name up there at one or two on uh, Google Places. and. Uh, my email address is on my site. You can also contact the uh, Nevada Tennis Association of USTA, uh, Nevada, and ask for more information regarding the event. But we're trying to make it a tennis palooza. So I don't want to get sued by Perry Farrell, but we're shooting for the whole palooza uh, carnival. Mm. Um, oh, he owns the palooza thing? I think so. I don't know. I played tennis with him one time, so I think he should be cool. But I, yeah, I, I, I just smooth everything smooth. I just, after that. I'm just yeah. throwing it out there. It's, it, it, <laughs> we're we're shooting for the tennis palooza type of atmosphere. Okay. Um, but we're really just reaching out to the downtown community, and it should be a lot of fun. Cool. All right. So final question. So tell me about tennis girls. I've heard it's pretty smart and athletic. Um, pretty smart and athletic. Uh, for the most part, um, yes. Cool. That's you, all I wanted. Yeah. You. Uh, it's a good yes or no question. Yeah. Okay. They're, 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 they're. You know what? Are some a pain in the butt? 
You know what? I don't do the desperate housewife uh, tennis <laughs> coaching, so uh, I would. <laughs> I would. <laughs> Okay. I'm not. I'm, I'm not at a country club. Okay. Um, but uh, no, tennis tennis players are usually hot or extremely not. Okay. So. <laughs> thank you very much. Thanks I appreciate so much. it. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Good evening. Welcome. Welcome. And it took me 20 minutes to find parking today here tonight in downtown. That was fun. There was a car parked right in front of the Ogden, right in front for 20 minutes with her reverse lights on. It was like a guy and a girl. They were like kissing. It seemed like it was some kind of like long goodbye thing. And I kept circling and, and then I got really irritated, of course, after and then I pulled my car next to them, rolled down the window, and the guy looks at me like, Whoa, what's this? I'm like, hello, <laughs> hi. Um, I've been looking for a spot for 20 minutes. When are you, when are you gonna leave? You know? And they go, oh, uh, uh, you know, uh, just, just give us a few minutes. And like in 10 seconds, like they left. It was great. So that was good. So I got a good spot, so I'm very excited. So um, we're, we're, we're in July, right? It's the last day of July. So we're just in time to celebrate. Oh, if you don't know what I do, my name is Mac Holiday. I celebrate holidays every single day on YouTube and on Vine, because every day there is actually a holiday. It's a true story. So today is the last day of July, and July is International Blondie and Deborah Harry Month. Yes, every July we celebrate the iconic band Blondie and their amazing contributions to the Hall of Fame and music and all that good stuff. So do you guys know the song, One Way or Another? Of course you do. Yeah. That's why we're going to do it now. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Can you hear it? I got to get into it now. Come on. Right, there's two. One way or another. So I mentioned on the podcast last week, was, was anyone there last week? Yes. Yeah? Okay, very good, 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 yes. Um, it's, uh, today is Jump for Jelly Beans Day. That's what today is. And so of course, <laughs> I've got the jelly bellies here. We're gonna do a little bit of a contest, see if a uh, little trivia here, what answers you might know. Um, by the way, today is also a Girlfriend's Day. Does anyone have a girlfriend in the house? <laughs> no girlfriends. You do, what's your name? Andrew. Andrew, who's your girlfriend? That one right there. What's your name? <laughs> Liz. Liz. You don't talk, Liz? Hi. Hi. Good to know you. Welcome. Thanks for coming. So we got one guy with a girlfriend here, nobody else. Else is a girl. Right. Okay, that's fine. Sorry if I uh, offended anybody. If anybody was upset. Okay. Um, so let's see. Little quiz, and then if you win the quiz, the trivia, I'm gonna ask five questions. Best out of five, you win. You win jelly beans. I know it's very exciting. Tomorrow is a national holiday based on a superhero. One superhero tomorrow has a holiday. Who which is that superhero? Superman. Incorrect? Batman. Spider-Man. Incorrect? Ant-Man. You can't play. Oh, I can't. What do you Actually, mean? Actually, you can. Then you got to write Spider-Man. Yes. Good job. Yes. You totally can play. Just don't cheat. You can't look at my head. I didn't cheat. Okay, good I job. Promise. So he has one. He has one. All right, so a Spider-Man question. Okay, think Spider-Man. Get in the zone of Spider-Man. You're feeling Spider-Man. What's his real name? <laughs> Okay, if I didn't say, raise your hand. <laughs> no shouting out this bull stuff. All right, I'll ask another Spider-Man question then. Remember, raise your hand. I want to see hands up high. Who is Spider-Man's love interest? I can't saw that one first. It's George Ann. Say it again. George Very well done. We got one one time. Three questions to go. Jelly Belly Jelly Beans right here. Favorite. <laughs> Huge favorite. Huge. Oval Office, Air Force One of which U.S. president? I saw this hand first, yes? Ronald Reagan. Correct! Three-way tie, one, one, one. It's very exciting. Are you guys, I'm, I'm, are you excited? I'm very excited. <laughs> All right, uh, tomorrow is International Beer Day. Yes, it is. And if you watched my video on National Beer Day, you might know the answer to this question. How many components, basic, are in beer? Follow one. Incorrect. Beer. It's just beer. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, I see your hand. How many? Three. Incorrect? Four. Correct. Very good. Good job. Oh my god, this is a four-way tie and I have one question to go. So we'll see if actually okay, now it's the, the only four who have gotten the answer correct are the only ones who can compete now. I just made up that rule on the spot. <laughs> All right, very exciting. Uh, today is National Mutts Day. Who likes the doggies? The mutts, yes? Okay. So this, and if you know the answer, you can raise your hand. I need eyes watching. Dylan, see whose hand goes up first. Um, this famous mutt, a Labrador and Mastiff mix, was named Spike in real life, but is a legend for playing which iconic movie role? <laughs> you too afraid to do it? <laughs> what? <laughs> no one wants to do it? No one's, all right, fine, it's old yeller. I mean, how many dog uh, movies are there? I mean, I don't know what. Um, now I gotta make up shit here. All right, so, um, all right, Spider-Man. Uh, finish this quote. With great powers comes, oh God, I don't know. I saw that hand first. I don't know, but I, I, I'm, I'm too nervous now because I, I, I don't know who got it first. I'm stressing out. You saw George go first? You can see him? All right, everybody, eyes and all the people playing. I need eyes going like this. All right, I'm, I'm just gonna go to the next question, but just say the answer. Great okay, responsibility, that is correct. All right, uh, okay, I'm looking. Who played Spider-Man in the original movie version? No, 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 it's only the four who got one point. Seriously? Yes. Well done! <laughs> Jelly beans! <laughs> wow, did you see that toss in that catch? I'm very impressed. In the 1960s, there was a Spider-Man. No movie, iconic. Really? Well, I don't care about that one. <laughs> All right. So, we are now moving on to uh, my friend David over here. So, um, tomorrow is August. Can you believe it already? It's August, yes. The first week of August happens to be called Simplify Your Life Week, which I feel exemplifies what this man over here, this is David here, the CEO and founder of Early Growth Financial Services, our sponsor tonight. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. And um, you help make it simpler for startups and or entrepreneurs. Can you give them a little bit of the down low? Absolutely. Yes. First of all, thank you for having us here. This is fantastic. You've got great energy. Oh, um, that's very nice. Thank you. I'm very glad that you got your parking space. That's that yes. sounded that sounded very chaotic. I had to share. I, that yeah. sounded a little stressful. I'm glad it yes, sort of worked it out. I know. I get that. Thank I, you. You're very empathic. Uh, <laughs> I, I feel your pain. Thank you. Uh, so I'm the CEO of a company called Early Growth Financial Services, mm -hmm. and we're not very sexy. We provide accounting and finance support to early stage technology companies. And we work with about 500 startup venture backed companies across the country. And we have offices in nine different locations, mostly the tech centers. And we opened up offices in Vegas about a year ago. So that's amazing. That's it. So let's just say I'm a budding entrepreneur, I have a startup, and trying to get it off the ground. There's so much to figure out, yes? How yes. do you make it easier for someone like me? Absolutely. So if you're an entrepreneur, you're starting a business, you should be concentrating on what's your technology, what's your product, building it out, who are your partners, what's your marketing, what are your sales? There's huge issues that you need to be thinking about and that, you, that are strategic and need your mind and they need your thoughts. We take care of all the stuff you don't want to think about. Mm. We take care of your books, your taxes, your payroll, your human resources, your accounts payable. And we also provide CFO services. So if you need someone to help you with financial stuff, how do you build a budget? How do you create a plan? How do you do pricing? They help you with that. Mm. So you can concentrate on the stuff that really makes your business unique and different and allows you to go out there and attack the market. I love it. I love it. That's awesome. That's a great service there. Um, and now you're recently in Las Vegas. We're recently in Las yes. Vegas. So what brought you here and how is it going? You know, Vegas is fantastic. Vegas is, uh, it's got a wonderful tech community. I feel like there's something very real here. Every time I come out to Vegas, I love the energy. I love the passion. People are excited here. And I think what brought us here is the fact that it is a burgeoning tech community. So we were in San Francisco before San Francisco really exploded. We were in LA before LA really exploded. We were in New York before New York really exploded. And frankly, we see, tech, uh, we see Vegas as one of the next big tech hubs. We think this is a really up and coming market and we wanna be a part of it. 
When you say exploded, you mean startups? And startups, tech, startups. Right. So lots and lots of companies, lots of funding, a lot of technology, a lot of innovation, a lot mm. of excitement in the ecosystem. So obviously you've seen a lot. What would you say in your experience is the number one mistake startups make? What's the number one mistake that startups make? Yeah. I think people fall in love with the technology or they fall in love with the product and they think I've got a great product or I've got a great technology. And they don't think enough about the business aspects. How am I going to get it to market? How much money is it going to cost to acquire customers? How am I going to sell? How am I going to market? I think a lot of times entrepreneurs, they fall in love with an idea or a technology and they don't do a good enough job of thinking about the business. Mm. So they're not business minded as much. It's more about their passion and creativity. Absolutely. Which is I great, it. which, great I, which I love, yeah, which I course. love. But they need to have that yeah, other half. It is a business. It's a business. Yes. It's the right. yin and the yang. Yin the yang, I love it. All right, well, that's all the time we got. I'm Mac Holiday. Thanks again, David. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Very Have much. a great time. Happy holidays. <laughs>